Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week. Well, I'm going to be looking at these guys. These are the Iron Factory War Giant Boys. Um, it's Iron Factory's Combaticons that form the War Giants. Now, there will be time to look at all these guys individually, possibly, in later episodes of Transformer of the Week. But now, you know, we're just going to skip to the end and make the War Giant itself. Because that's what you want to see, really, isn't it? In a combining team. The guys are a lot of fun. You say that out there. Individually, they're a lot of fun. But we want a War Giant. Now, I warn you, it's not for the faint-hearted, this. Not for the people who disagree with parts forming and combiners because this guy has a lot of kibble. Well, not kibble, but he's got a lot of junk, combiner junk, that's not necessarily um, actually part of his robot modes. It's just stuff that forms a kind of trailer. And a, a bust of the war giant, should you want to do that. Anyway. We'll start off by making his gun. This is an um, Onslaught's gun. So, we'll fold that in half. Fold that handle down. We'll get um, Swindle's cannon. Put that there. Last off's gun will fold in half like so. Stick that there. This we then stick together like so. And we get a hold of the Brawl's gun. There's a hole there. There's a tab there. There's a hole there. And there's a tab there. These just brace together. And this will brace the entire gun together, this. And then we'll get the other one and do exactly the same on the other side. We'll take Vortex's guns on here. Add a bit of side weapons to that. A bit of extra colour as well. That's cool. Then get Vortex, go to his cockpit. Ooh, that comes off. It'll come off later anyway, his cockpit. And remove this nose gun. Stick that on the top. Whoa, what a BFG. That's brilliant. Legs. They're going to be the easiest. Take Brawl or Armor Bore, I believe it's called. See, that's not the same. Each foot has a different kind of connector port so you know who goes on where. So that two pegs, two holes together, and then it braces with this kind of tab that goes into his crotch piece there. And there you go, that is the leg. Swindle again. Hold his hood up a little bit and we'll get one of these. He's got two tabs, he's got two holes there. Go together. Yeah, you see, the spike goes into his crotch piece there. Ouch. That's that braced there. That leg, you can tell which leg there are by the way that their ankle tilts. Arms. Let's do this guy first. Let's just temporarily take off his rotors. You can do it with them on, but it's annoying. Remove these arms, swing them into a different position up here. It's a different position there. 
pull out that combiner joint. Separate in here. Go back to this arm thing that kind of pegs in in the middle there. We'll find the hand. It's got the hand with the longest wrist bit there. There's two pegs, two pegs, two holes. Jungle to jungle. And then that is supposed to kind of peg into the, it doesn't peg in very well, in my opinion. That is Vortex in an arm mode. Oh. Kind of peg these back in. Like so. Blast off. Unpeg his wings. Fold those down. Fold those round. Pull him there, like like so. Then we have. The other hand, do, do, do. we have two pegs on that hand, with two holes there. Move that in and take blast offs of a gun. Move these flaps down. You see, there's a slot there, and that clicks into there to hold that into place. There's War Giant's other arm. Here we go. Now, get the big guy himself. He's uh, everyone else is quite easy to do from vehicle mode into limb mode. As the torso team leader, it's best to start in robot mode. So fold his arms up like so. Then. Hole there, the tab there. That's gonna tab into place. Right there. Same again. Tab into place. Move that down. Stick his head in. Flap that up, put the gun, guns there, do the splits, move at the fire there, so you want like so, that's a very familiar kind of Combine mode, now it's time for getting dressed. So put his pants on. Like so. This massive back bit up here. And there's uh, three holes there, three pegs there, a bit like a three pin plug. That will Slot together like so. That's all ready. Now I just get his chest section in. Oh, almost. 
tab there, the tab there, holes there. So this is all gonna come together. Click, click, click. And there we have it. There we have the torso. Let's well, flip his feet up as well. <laughs> Why is he just a little stubby man? Right. He's here. He's combiner ports are here. They are quite good to use as, as heel spurs for onslaught anyway. So let's get him uh, combined up. Should we start with the legs? So brawl is going to go over here. So we. Slot in this combiner port here, like so. We swindle, do the same. We slot there. Like so. Oof. Look at that. Now, uh, blast off. Two uh, tabs there, two holes there, sticks into place. Now then, um, Vortex, we'll do the same with him. And there we have war giant now there are these things that you kind of almost stick the hands in when you're in vehicle molds and stuff to try and hide them away and these apparently are supposed to go there is his steel buns but it doesn't really <laughs> matter you know it just gets in the way of articulation of anything and he is a really well articulated guy because what they've done, they've used the size to an advantage. So, you know, they've got smaller, but they can pack a bigger punch. A bit like Ant-Man, really. Um, so, yeah, so the head is on a ball joint up here. It does have this moving crest and these antennas. So it's a quite a tight ball joint. So it's, And it's got a lot of junk around it, so it's hard to get in and move it sometimes but it does remove really well what you have got there you've got to be really careful about not putting too much pressure on those antennas and stuff there's a hinge here so we can have a good look down as well which is quite important i think for a combiner to be able to really you know look down on things over here we've got a, a swivel there as well as a bit of a ratchet, a couple of ratchets there, clicks there, and there's a hinge here, butterfly hinge at the combining joint. Um, there's a swivel here at the bicep and a swivel below the elbow joint. It does have nice ratcheted elbow joints and these crotch piece there as well. Gives it a kind of double joint in there. So that way it works really well. It's got a wrist swivel. It's got a ball jointed thumb with a, a joint, another joint on it, the, uh, the uh, thumbsy. And get quite a good hand splay as well, and all the fingers. The different sides sizes. I mean, I've had a talk about one of my previous videos about I'm not too keen on uh, articulated hands, but these are actually a good example of them because they're nice and thick, and you know, different joint, you know, different size fingers, and decent enough splays, so they are quite emotive. 
you know, they're the best kind of uh, fingers. So that's that. Um, Vortex, kind of the same articulation as uh, Blastoff with the swivels there. I just find it doesn't quite click onto the shoulder joint as well. So you need to be a little bit more careful when moving him around. You need to like proper hold that in place, but you've still got it all going on. Again, with the, uh, it's got the same, exact same. Oh, but see what I mean? It, it'll come off though. So you just need to be careful. It goes back on, easy enough. So you've got the same elbow joint. And then again, the hand joint isn't as good. Because it's got, because it tams into the side here. And this is supposed to lock it in place, but it's useless. So it kind of pegs it into place. And unless you hold it here while you move the wrist, if you twist the wrist, it'll pop the hand off. Which is, you know, it's annoying because this guy works so great and this guy just kind of just lets the side down in terms of uh, arm stuff. He's got his back cannons here that can pivot. There's also a twist there. So if you wanted to more angle the more translucent stuff that side, you know, it's up to you. So there's those. He does have a waist swivel, which is quite cool. And he's got onslaughts leg articulation pretty much look at that now how many combiners can um, do the full Van Damme and hold it how many combiners can do the full Van Damme and hold it that's the beauty of doing it in this scale I can go back quite far as well. That doesn't quite hold, but you know, you get that. Um, these hip skirts move out of the way, so you can get a little bit of front. It wants to boot someone. Got a thigh swivel. Thigh swivel. There's no swivel. At the knee, but there is that nice deep bend there, you know. So, you know, you can have some nice little diving poses, should you wish. You know, that's well, doing a bit of a knee slide. Yeah, knee slide. Shh. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. So then, he's got the tab there. And he's got a hole in his hand. So he can hold his gun. Best doing it right-handed. Because, you know, he's definitely right-handed with that vortex over here. So he's got that. Can hold that really well. It also comes with. Go on. I'll do this manually because this has come off again. But it also comes with this, which is a, a smaller version of Shockwave, non-transforming Shockwave. So it comes with that. That can. tab into his hand like so
been annoying now. Probably should have gone for the right hand for this one as well. But you know, we need to explore all these options, don't we? Yep, so you can wield Shockwave, but if you have bought Bid Bridge Watcher, it was Iron Factory's Shockwave. If we untab the BFG and get an even beer FG, you can also hold shockwave and he holds shockwave it doesn't droop doesn't fall it's a legend class limb that can hold a legend sized heavy and it's not even they're heavy for legends these because of iron factory bots they're not you know um the legend scale they're not legend figures because there's a lot more detail a lot more plastic used so you can hold that up without it dropping so a limb can hold the same size figure as itself in its hand outright, upright, without dropping. The thing is with combine, and this is what I love about this guy, a lot of the combiners there seems to be this competition to make things bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And in that, you lose a lot of potential for the articulation to be able to hold the weight of its own stuff and all that. This seems to fall by the wayside. Iron Factory have made a smaller combiner out of the ledger scale stuff that they do. But yeah, it's the Ant-Man theory. Is the smaller he's getting, the more power it has. It's packs a, you know, a punch. They've managed to distill what a combiner is. And have it very playable, but also looks fantastic as well as that. To create this, you know, all in all fantastic product. So if we want to look in, this is in you know, kind of scale. This is in with a deluxe scale figure. I don't have Combiner Wars um, Bruticus, but I do have the next closest thing, which is Ruination. So that's in with the Combiner Wars combiner. I put good money on Iron Factory producing this in this colour scheme at some point. Maybe it's a convention exclusive, sort of that. So that's them together. And just um, a bit more fun. Here he is next to the old kind of universe onslaught mould, which is this is the Botcon Clench. So. I think Lever is an Ultra, so that's him with an Ultra class figure. So you're getting a very large figure. If you think about buying the set as a whole, not the price of the individual members, because people will be like going, oh, it's 20 odd pounds for what's essentially a Voyager figure, a, a legend figure, which, since legends are getting to be about 10, 12 pounds anyway, and you get a lot of accessories with them, it isn't, to be honest with you, that bad. But if you think of the set as a whole, the price you'd pay for a third party figure of this size is prob probably comparable anywhere. But instead of turning into one thing, this splits into five. And does five alt molds, five robot molds. And they're all really sound, great figures. But at the end of the day, this is just the, the colour break up, the paints, the translucent plastic, all of it together. And the fact I can just hold a combiner like this in my hand and you know we do have some problems with, with vortex when you're moving him around but every day you know what I mean just shaking him up and down he holds his poses. That's brilliant, that's amazing. Start of February and this year has been so far fantastic for robots. That's why War Giant is this week's Transformer of the Week. Join me next week and there'll be more.
Transformers. There'll be more weeks. Until then, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, shall we fist bump? Bisto! Fisto!